We've received quite a bit of interest in my free to be workshop. So to that effect, beneath this video is a link that will give you a description for the workshop. And we've also included a special discount. So if that's something you would be interested in, I would invite you to click that link and I hope that you would find the course to be quite beneficial. There's a major byproduct for a person who has been trapped inside their own patterns of narcissism that just stays with them for a long, long period of time. And that is, it's essential for you to realize these are individuals who are carrying a great deal of their own internal chaos and turmoil that they have not come to terms with. They have a lot of hurt, they have a lot of pain, they have a lot of anger and distrust, sometimes strong paranoia. But instead of them learning, particularly in their deeper adult years, how to manage that inner turmoil in a constructive way from the inside out, what they do is they look for receptacles to place their turmoil into. And the receptacle, at least many times, can be you. It's, it's, see, narcissists, uh, part of the defining feature, for example, of narcissism is that they want to be in control. But instead of, of saying, well, I need to deal with that, it's like, no, I want to be in control and I want to be in control over you. They want to pull you into that pattern with them. They want to make you a partner in that. And or, or we could say the same thing. The narcissist likes to be superior, but they want to pull you into their turmoil by saying, I want to be superior over you. And there's a role that you have to play in that. Or I don't like to take responsibility. That's another thought that they hold on to. That's part of their narcissism. But then what they do is they want to pull you in and say, I don't want to take responsibility because there's certain responsibilities that you need to take care of on my behalf. Uh, or they may think, I don't really have any particular curiosity, which is their lack of empathy. But then I don't have any curiosity because you are not somebody that I'm interested in. They make you a party to their lack of interest. In other words, their internal tension is so strong on the inside of themselves, but they externalize it and they turn their tension in, uh, onto key people such as yourself. Now, when we talk about a, a narcissist, one of the things we say is that there's an abusive element to the way that they treat other individuals. There's not, hardly any other appropriate word that we can use to describe it. Uh, narcissists very willing will uh, very willingly will abuse you with intimidation. Like I say, they're highly controlling, which means that they have a very restrictive and fixed agenda about how you're supposed to be, and they're not at all bashful in letting you know what that is. Because of their inner turmoil, they tend to carry a great deal of raw anger on the inside, and sometimes it can come out in very aggressive forms. Other times it can come out in passive aggressive uh, actions. Sometimes it comes out in their begrudgment and contempt toward you. They can be abusive in the way that they hurl insults toward you or they uh, throw uh, humiliation and ridicule in your direction. Perhaps they'll isolate you. I mean, they have all sorts of ways of being abusive. And it's bad enough that they do this, but then what they really like to do when they have you in their scopes, it's like, I want to keep you inside my own prison of turmoil. I want you to be every bit as trapped and caught up in the garbage that defines me as I possibly can. I don't want you to have a separate life. I want you to stay over here in my smelly, dysfunctional uh, abode or habitat. And they try to keep you inside the trap of abuse. Now, uh, once uh, you know, I mentioned here, they go into the intimidation and all. Uh, once they have you and they're being abusive toward you, then there are multiple other things that they'll do to keep you inside their sphere of influence and uh, keep you trapped. For example, one of the things that narcissists are famous for 
is they won't make any allowance for your distinct opinions or preferences. They're very quick to point out your errors in your thinking, uh, errors according to them. And so they go into shutdown mode. That's them trying to keep you trapped inside their abuse of you. No, you can't get out. You can't venture out and have separate thoughts. Many times they'll keep you trapped or attempt to by making decisions about you without consulting you. I've actually had multiple people who will say things like, well, I went to my uh, clothing uh, 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 drawers or my closet and I found certain pieces of clothing that weren't there and they found out that the narcissist discarded it. It's like, no, you can't do that. Or it may be that uh, they uh, will uh, respond about schedule plans to other individuals without consulting you. Uh, it may be, for example, that somebody says, hey, we'd like for you to do something with us over the weekend. And they'll say, no, I can, but this person can't. And so you, before you know it, you're being sabotaged to other individuals because of their undermining of you. And that's keeping you trapped in their abusiveness. Uh, sometimes they'll also sabotage your successes. For example, you may have projects, whether it's work or home, or you may have initiatives with family members, children, and they can uh, sabotage that. No, that's not going to work. Or they'll, uh, they'll uh, come up with different plans re regardless of whether you like it or not. They'll adjust the schedule so that it uh, is not favorable to you. Another way they keep you trapped in their abuse is they play money games with you, particularly inside of families. For example, they may think, I get to spend money, but you can't. And Or they may constantly gripe about how you are so wasteful, even though they themselves may be. Uh, many times they try to keep you inside their snares by requiring you to report in or they track you and they make sure that they know all sorts of minutia about you and what you're doing with your life, who you're spending time with. It's like I gotta monitor every little move that you make. Uh, many times they can humiliate you in public settings. Let's suppose that you're with that narcissistic person. There's several people around and you may say something and they may just make a joke at your expense or remind you, well, yeah, you tried that, but it didn't work out very well. And they'll do anything and everything to make you look foolish. And that keeps you held down. Sometimes they keep you inside their snares by scolding you as if they were talking to a little child. Of course, I wouldn't talk to a little child in that kind of way, but they can have this parental um, mindset toward you. Sometimes they can keep you ensnared uh, by telling other individuals inside information about you behind your back. Well, I don't know if you know this, but this person, uh, you know, they, they really do have a lot of problems you just don't uh, realize. And so they'll do a, a, a smear campaign about you to just to whittle down your sense of effectiveness with other individuals. Uh, sometimes they may take over tasks that you're very capable of performing. Uh, let me do that uh, because you're not capable or they can minimize your intelligence or your capabilities in other kinds of ways. So it's bad enough that narcissists have the characteristics they have of the control and entitlement. And then it's even more so when they go into an abusive form toward you with all of the harshness and the anger and the intimidation. And then it's even worse when they progress it by saying, and I'm going to keep you inside the snare because I don't want you to break free. Let me remind you, the goal of the narcissist is to elevate themselves at your expense they want to make you feel, or at the very least, they want to make you look less than. They want to make you feel and look inept or foolish. They want to keep you in your place, which is below them. And so that's the way they uh, can abuse you and then try to hold you inside their cage of abuse. Now, once you see their game, I'm hoping you can decide, you know what, this is not working well for me at all. Sometimes you just completely break away from that individual. And if it's possible, that's probably what you need to do. But once you see that they're not only being abusive, but they're trying to hold you down with further reinforcements to keep you feeling very poorly about yourself, I'm hoping you can remind yourself, I'm not obliged to somebody who is going to treat me in this kind of way. And if I have to, I'm willing to create as much distance as I can. This person does not represent me. This person does not hold me in high regard. Therefore, I don't owe allegiance to someone who summarily wants to keep me chained down. Uh, instead, what you want to remind yourself is, I'm going to live into the very freedom 
that's appropriate for me to have. Freedom means I have the privilege to choose for myself who I'm going to be and how I'm going to conduct myself and what priorities I have and what opinions I have and what uh, kind of activities I want to pursue. And if the narcissist refuses to acknowledge the validity, then it means they refuse to acknowledge it. But I'm going to go ahead and continue to be me anyway. And by the way, I'm going to wear those clothes that they took out of my closet. I'll go get some more if I have to. I'm hoping that as you see that they're trying to keep you held inside the trap of their abuse, that you can decide, you know, I can use some different people in my life. I want to align myself with individuals who are committed, like we are here on Team Healthy, to learning how to get along well with individuals, whether it's a close friend that I can confide in or a coworker that understands me. I want to join with organizations that uh, reflect my beliefs and uh, my preferences uh, if if I need to seek out a therapist, I'm very willing to do that so that I can remind myself of what healthy connections are all about. Most importantly, it's, it's necessary for you to know what their patterns are. They can be abusive because of their own inner turmoil, and then they can try to keep you inside the trap of their abuse. And I'm hoping you can see, yeah, that's predictable. And they would be doing that regardless of who was in their life. I happen to be the person on the receiving end of it. And then you also want to be honest about what your potentially negative reactions to their entrapment efforts could be so that you can remind yourself, uh, I, I, the more I'm aware of who I am and what options I have, then the better off I'm going to be. And then in the end, I'm hoping that when you see that a narcissist, unfortunately, is committed to these negative characteristics, they become abusive with it, and then they try to keep you inside the trap. I'm hoping you can decide there's going to be one person that I'm going to look to that's going to guide me regarding how I think and how I process my emotions and how I maintain my priorities. That one person is going to be myself. Trust yourself and, and remind yourself an abuser who tries to keep you in that down, uh, confined uh, uh, pattern that they want you into is not something, somebody that you need to filter your way of life uh, through. They don't have your vested interest at heart. Trust yourself knowing that you're committed to growth and goodness and decency and let that be the thing that frees you to, to become more and more expansive in how you're going to live your life. You don't deserve to be inside an abuser's traps. Now, I hope that videos such as this can give you some good food for thought and can spur you towards some of the necessary growth and helpfulness that I know you want to lean into. If you've not already done so, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button too. We're going to keep more videos coming in your direction. Likewise, if you have a need to talk this out with a therapist, and I know many of you have done that, uh, we have, you know that I'm sponsored by the people at betterhelp.com and there's a, a link below that will take you to their website. If you go through our link, you get a 10% discount on the first month. And, uh, and I would encourage you to seek it out. There's some simple forms that you have to fill out and you can choose a, a therapist that can work this out with you. Get the help you need. Uh, and I, I know most of you are going to say, I'm so pleased that I did that. In addition, I also have my therapeutic courses, and this is my way of helping you sign up, let's say, for an online class where I go through uh, each course has multiple videos, written documentations, and guided questions. It's a very extensive, and it's a lot of work, uh, but it can help you uh, come to terms with the better version of yourself. We have Ready, Set, Connect about making connection skills. This is me about you being a person of good boundaries, uh, free to be, finding yourself despite those controllers. We have my webinars that have already been presented, but you can continue to purchase them along with accessing my Surviving Narcissism podcast, our website with many articles on there. We have my books. We have lots of resources, and I'm truly thankful that you let me be a part of your journey with you. Narcissists, unfortunately, have very distasteful characteristics that define them. And then on top of that, then they become abusive in the way that they treat you. And then on top of that, they try to keep you inside the traps of their abuse. I hope that you can see that for what it is. It's a failed way of living. And I do want you to be able to find that freedom that says, I'm going to trust myself and I'm going to let my own self be in charge of who I'm going to be because I'm a person committed to dignity, respect, and civility. That's what we stand for here on Team Healthy. And, uh, and in doing so, I hope that it helps you move further and further toward the good goal of finding peace.